It's 5.45 in the morning. <laughs> we will go and pick up our baby now from the neighbor's door. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. Hello. Hola. Okay, you might need to help me lift up the back. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Yes. Which is gracias, which is gracias. Awesome. First job of the day done. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. So we're having bread and butter for breakfast. And Ollie is the new dog whisperer. <laughs> Ollie wanted the dogs oh, to join him it. for breakfast. <laughs> and they look all very happy and healthy actually. They look really good. We made friends now with them. At first they were barking and they were a little bit like, oh you strangers, what are you doing here? But now they are our homies. Oh look at that, eh? how cute. You're that's uh, the guys who looked after our motorcycle for the night. They're on their way somewhere in a little local bus. So these people carriers, they just drive around the town beeping their horn until they're filled up with people and then they ride off to wherever they're going. La Paz, I guess. <laughs> Crazy, eh? Good morning world! Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 311 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the small village of Sevarullo in Bolivia. And we stayed here last night after finding a room on Ioverlander that was only £6 a night, which is probably the cheapest room we've ever had. But it was also not a very nice room and <laughs> not really a very nice place to stay. Yeah, but still we had a pretty good rest because it's just 6.45 in the morning and we are already on the go. Yeah, at the place we stayed last night, they didn't have any parking for Bumblebee, or we couldn't fit Bumblebee through the door, basically. So she had to knock on a neighbor's door and the neighbor said that we could park Bumblebee at his place. <laughs> but he said, it's okay to park here, but I'm gonna leave tomorrow at 6 a.m. So you have to collect Bumblebee before then, otherwise she is locked away for the whole day. <laughs> yes. It's a cold morning. It's seven degrees, the bike says. Wow crazy so i haven't got a map of bolivia just yet so i can't show you our route but today we are heading to la paz Woo! the capital city of bolivia it's about 250 miles to la paz and our navigation says it takes five hours and for us probably more like eight hours so better hit the road let's go stopping already to put my rain gloves on because the air is freezing my fingers are freezing already. Woo, cold morning. <laughs>
So we've just arrived here in the town of Huari. And when we came in the town, it said it was the epicenter commercial. The commercial epicenter of the region, apparently. Oh my lord. <laughs> so there should be a petrol station in town. But um, some other tourists we met yesterday, they warned us that sometimes the petrol stations actually refuse to give foreigners fuel or they give you like a crazy rate I mean we were already charged in our first fill up the double the local rate but they said it can be up to triple well we will find out hey yeah it's always going to be a exciting experience filling up in Bolivia hey <laughs> totally oh whoa look at this whoa oh. Just Cra about touched the bash plate. Crazy. Ah, I think this is the petrol station, but yeah. there's just um, cones around it and there's oh, nobody no. there. Okay. So it doesn't look very promising. Okay. No, um, the, and the pumps are completely covered up, look. Okay, yeah. That's absolutely a no-go, I think. Okay, next one then. All right. Is oh. It, oh, stalled. It looks so nice and new and then it's just like, no, no fuel. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the next one in the next town, there are actually one, two, three, four petrol stations. Okay, how far is that? Um, it's not far, it's like eight miles. Eight miles? Okay. Yeah. We'll search for one there. So here in Bolivia, it's interesting because actually all the roads are toll roads, just like the normal roads. But it's actually free for us. All motorcycles are free. Yeah, let's see if this one here is for free for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's not go through just in case. Yeah. But I think it's free. Let me see. Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> ah, okay. She says go. She says go. Let's go. Woo! Okay, let's try if we are lucky here. But yeah. it looks again that they have... Yeah, it does look like a similar situation. Hey. Oh. Hola. Hola. Hey. Uh, gasolina aquí. No, no, Otra? No, es Oruro. Oruro. Sí. Oh. Okay, gracias. gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas. 72. 72 miles. Yeah. We can make it. Okay, we have to be careful, yeah? Yeah, we can make it 72 miles. We just have to uh, not ride too fast. We have to ride economically. Yeah, you have to ride very economically. Okay, all right, let's see how it goes. <sighs> Okay, so we've arrived in the town of Oruro. There is a petrol station here. Yes. And it looks like people are actually getting fuel. Yes, let's hope for the best that they say it's okay for us. Hola. Hola, buenas. Gasolina. And look, the dog is here. <laughs> yeah, more of the cutest, cutest street dogs in the world. Yeah. Hello. Hello, cutie weenies. <laughs> What's he doing there? Oh, is this one? Is this one queso or is probably pollo, hey? Vegetariano? Oh yeah, no, no, vegetariano. Oh. <laughs> Gracias. No, it's with chicken. Oh. <laughs> Nueve. Yeah, so nine he said, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's triple the local price, I think, yeah. Yeah, good for them. Bad for us. <laughs> <laughs> La Paz, sí, La Paz, sí. yeah, yeah, yeah. La Paz yeah. es la Estrada de Muerte. <laughs> Ooh, <yeah. laughs> so nine is one pound. So it's like one pound per litre for one us. One pound per litre, yeah. All right. 140. It's like 17 pounds. Wow. 17, expensive. yeah. It's expensive. Not as expensive as chili, but still expensive. Yeah. Oh, muchas gracias. Yeah, I wonder why they are charging triple for foreigners. Is it just because they think we can afford like more and they want to get extra money? Yeah, yeah, for, of course. I think they are really tight on petrol maybe as well. Yeah, I mean, you could see that there were many, many petrol stations that just don't have fuel. So I think fuel is like really precious to these guys. Yeah. Anyway, we've managed to get fuel, which is the important thing. And that means that we can reach La Paz with no issues. Yes. And I think this is a record for today because we have just reached over 100 miles for the day and it's only half past nine. Wow. <laughs> 100 miles before half nine. Is this us? This doesn't no, feel like it's us. No, it's not. I don't think so. Normally half past nine. I haven't even made a coffee yet. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice to be out and about that early, actually. So, Oruro, 
It's an absolutely crazy, crazy place apparently. Yeah, we wanted to actually <laughs> stop here and get some like late breakfast, early lunch type thing, but I don't even want to venture off this main road into, into this sea of buildings here to find something. No, we will adventure enough in La Paz, I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> We could just choose one city a day, you know? Too many cities, I think, it would kill us. Yeah, so we'll just try to make our way through this. Oh, stalled, hold on. Yep. And uh, maybe try and take an early lunch in a smaller town a bit further down the road. Well, and the street dogs out here on the roundabout as well. Look at this. <laughs> oh, man. Mad. Just mad. It's madness here. Yeah. Okay, so we're in a little bit of a smaller place now called Caracolo. Caracolo. And there's this little area here where coaches and buses stop to get lunch. So we may, may be able to find something vegetarian. Well, there's fresh orange juice. Oh, let's get, let's get a fresh orange juice. <laughs> let's check it out. Let's check it out. What do they have? What do they have? Well, I can smell some stuff going on. Yeah. I think it's some cheese, no? Or is it cake? Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Hola, buenas. Sandwich, huevo? Huevo? Tiene um, queso. Perfect. Uh, dos, uh, dos sandwiches. Queso con huevo y dos cafés? Dos cafés con leche. Gracias. What's this thing? I think it's like... I think it's like bread. Sweet. Oh yeah, pan dulce. Sort of sweet bread mm. with with chocolate. It smells good. Is it chocolate? Yeah, I think <gasps> oh, let's ask how much that is. Okay. I mean, it looks really good. Look at that. It's huge. It's huge, but it looks good. Oh, I got some good stuff here. Yummy coffee. <laughs> Egg and cheese sandwich. Oh, nice. I'm also going to see about this fresh orange juice. See if there's someone around. Is there anyone? Hola? Okay, so apparently I can't get any fresh juice because there's literally nobody next to the juice cart. So I just asked the guy from here about the fresh orange juice outside and now he's gone out to make it happen. Yes. Ah, perfect. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. I just asked and they said that this was 10 Bolivianos. 10 Bolivianos is like one pound 30 or something, so we said, yeah, we'll have it. <laughs> and two more coffees. Oh, gracias. gracias, which is gracias. Oh yeah, we're living like the kings today, hey? Yes, look at this. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> Beautiful. What a nice place to stop for lunch, eh? Yeah, totally. Wow. But well, we went a little bit out of control though, because the prices were so good. We were like, yeah, let's get two coffees, a juice, two egg and cheese sandwiches and a whole lot of sweet bread <laughs> which we could only eat half of one so now we've got four and a half of those cakes left to eat and they're absolutely huge and so they are huge that will be probably our like a breakfast lunch and dinner for the next uh, leg <laughs> But it was super cool because even though we had all that stuff, it was only about 60 Bolivianos, which is about seven pounds. So seven pounds for the both of us, for all that goodness is pretty good. Yeah, amazing. So now we've actually covered 131 miles of the journey so far, and we've got 120 miles more to go until we reach La Paz. Yeah, La Paz, we are coming! Woo -woo! So we were just stopped by the police just there and uh, it was very difficult to understand what they were trying to say but I think they tried to say that we were speeding. There's no signs on this road to say the speed limit but uh, they told us that it was actually 80 kilometers an hour which is only 50 miles an hour and then Lavi tried to translate and ask them like I was like oh I'm really really sorry we didn't know the speed normally we are really not fast and we didn't see any signs and um, then he looked at us he's like okay yeah at first he had like uh, his book and I think he was trying to get like some money from us or write us a ticket or something but in the end they just said oh okay well don't go so fast and basically sent us on our way yeah Thank you, Bolivian police. Well, we just came over the hill 
and in front of us is an absolute sea of buildings and I think that this is the beginning of the outskirts of La Paz. Woo! Yeah, I mean the GPS still says 19 miles to reach our hotel but um, yeah, I think, I think we're already in it. I think this is it. Wow, it's a mad place. There's a forklift on the highway. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you see really funny things here, actually. Yeah, but the thing for me is just that there are too many of these of these minibuses. I mean, the streets are just full of them. Like, that's like 90% of the traffic is these minibuses. Crazy place, absolutely crazy place. Oh, man. Yeah, this doesn't bode very well because we're still 14 miles out of the center. Jesus. Yeah, I think it will take us a while. It looks like. Looks like. At least it's not raining at the moment. Oh, thank you. We were really lucky actually. We missed, oh, stalled. We missed most of uh, the rain clouds and actually we only got a light spattering. It was actually fine. Yeah. But it is apparently forecast raining here in the city, but let's hope to be lucky. Yeah. Even as a motorbike, there's nothing I can really do here because I mean, this is just, I definitely can't go out on this bit. No. So I'm kind of stuck here. Yeah with all the rest yeah <laughs> yeah look at the crazy public transport system of the city they've I, got cable cars no i really can't believe that yeah they call it the terrifico i think oh um, wow instead of them having a metro or an underground they've got like an overground system <laughs> i love it that's so cool that is quite cool hey yeah we have to take a day off and just go around the city with this thing <coughs> oh, here's so many fumes in the in the air. Whoa, pretty crazy, man. We're battling our way through the city here. It's insane, really. Google Maps said 10 miles, 40 minutes. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh man. Not expecting us to go fast. No. No, we can't go through the middle because it's funny. Here are no bikes. Here, are just the mini buses. Like people don't don't really have bikes here. I think it's probably just too cold and wet here for yeah, motorcyclists. Probably. But I mean, if they switched a few of these cars to motorcycles, you'd probably be a lot less congestion. Well, I'm always impressed how busy cities are. Like you forget about it and you think like, oh, it should be fine. But then you ride into a big city and you think like, man, what is going on? <laughs> Why did we do this? Why? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> It's because we found a nice-ish hotel for a reasonable price, that's why. It's true actually, because the last two days I didn't sleep too much and I think I have an eye burn or something. My eyes are so red and so painful, maybe from the salt lakes yesterday. I have no idea, but so we decided, okay, let's treat ourselves to a nice place where we can just sleep and we have free breakfast. But this hotel does seem to be quite in the center of the city. So to get to the comfort, we've got to go through this, unfortunately. Yes. And we checked as well. The hotel has free parking. So a safe place for Bumblebee, exactly. which is good as well. And it was about 17 pounds a night, which is um, more expensive than the cheapest places you can get in the city. But it's uh, for 17 pounds, it's pretty good quality. So I'm really looking forward to going actually. Yeah, I'm just really excited for a hot shower and a nice clean bed. Oh yeah. So this is a two lane highway, but the people have decided that they're just gonna operate it as a three lane highway. So now we've got just three lanes of traffic moving together. It's insane. <laughs> So we have decided as well that we are staying now in the middle because the people on the uh, left, they are um, going to the left, people on the right going to the right and we just try to fight our way through the middle here. It's a busy place. <laughs> it's such a busy place. Oh, I love it. I love it and I hate it at the same time. Oh, we can go and we are the first. Oh, no, we can't go. No, because this one of these buses, mini buses, they're all stopped. Why did they stop? I don't know, look, there's just... Wow, look at this row. 
There's just a queue of them and they're not moving. I don't know what they're doing. No way. What are they doing? It's like one, two, three lines just packed up here, full of minibuses. Look at them. Is that not too many minibuses for one city, really? <laughs> what? I mean, seriously? Look, all minibuses here on the side. Look. Oh my god, wow. look down there. <gasps> oh, hold on, I gotta have a look at that. Yeah, me too. Wow. Look at that. That's crazy. That's so beautiful. Oh my god. And look the cable cab here. Oh. That's awesome. And our hotel, according to the map, is actually down over there on that side. But the road that we have to take snakes around the hills and then comes back on itself and ends up down there. It's basically the only way down. <sighs> Jesus. Insane. Wow, we are so high up and the city is just in this valley here. Oh my God. Yeah, and it takes up like the whole valley as well. Like the buildings are just going all the way up the, the hills. Man, it's mental here. Absolutely mental. I don't have words for that, seriously. Wow, a sea of ho houses, a sea of houses. Yeah, and everything made out of the same like red brick, red cinder block that we see all over Bolivia, but the entire city is made of it. Wow, wow. I mean, there's just, there's no more space here. <laughs> there's no more space. <laughs> I'm fascinated. I'm absolutely fascinated. Yeah, we've never s I've never seen a city like it. So as we're heading into this crazy, crazy metropolis in front of us, I thought this might be a good time to give you some facts about the city of La Paz. The city was founded in 1548 by the Spanish conquistador Alonso de Mendoza. And the name La Paz is actually a short form of the full name, which is Nuestra Señora de La Paz, which means Our Lady Peace. So I think that's a pretty nice name for the city. La Paz is also the highest capital city in the world, Ah, we're just starting to get into the older centre of the city, the more colonial centre. Wow, look at this building in front. Yeah. Crazy, man. It's crazy how the centre is like so different to the outskirts. The centre is like all historic and these beautiful buildings. And then you can just see on, on the hills, just this like concrete block. I don't know why this car parked here, but this car decided to park here. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Up. Well, this church up ahead is really nice, actually. Yeah, it is really nice. Okay. Wow, really beautiful here, though. <laughs> beautiful and crazy at the same time. Yeah. So it's not this one here, but the next one to the right. Next one to the right. Okay. Yeah. okay. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Some city maneuvers. Yeah, our place should come up on the um, right side in 0 0.5. Okay, awesome. Oh, we nearly made it. We're nearly there. Oh, just 0 0.5 miles more. <laughs> it looks so modern and new and nice. The cable car system here. Yeah, we're definitely going to take one. Incredible. Oh, what's this one? Huevo. Oh. Tucumana Especiales. I think we've got to come back here for dinner <laughs> and get that. <laughs> I that looks so. amazing. I think so too. <laughs> and look, there are five Bolivianos. Amazing. That's like 50 cents. Yeah. And I saw an empanada shop as well. Cool. Wow, we're like right in the center. This hotel is like right in the center. Yeah. Jesus. It's like the buses don't go more than a couple of meters before stopping. Guys, it's so super funny because on Street View there was a car park at this address. And now look at this building. Ta da! It's like a brand new building. And this is our hotel, I think. in love.
Corona Pass. We just found out that this hotel is just one month old. So everything is like super new, super nice. Like, ah, oh, it's just beautiful. It's pretty much the exact opposite to where we started this morning. It was a really long ride to get here, but it's really awesome that we've made it all the way to La Paz because near here is a very, very special road that we're going to be taking on tomorrow and it's called the Death Road. Yeah, I have no idea what is going on, but the last two days were pretty exhausting. We had to wake up like before six o'clock both days. And then yesterday, the whole day on the salt flats, I think I have an eye burn or something. I don't know exactly what it is, but my eyes are really burning. It's just three o'clock, but I'm already ready for bed. <laughs> but we are going to go out and get some empanadas out on the street because we saw a couple of places very nearby that looked absolutely delicious. So we're going to get that and then we're going to go to bed. Exactly. Then we have enough energy to take on this special road tomorrow. I'm super excited. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. And if you really, really, really like our videos, then you can join us on Patreon. The link is in the description below and we will see you next time.